Ladies and gentlemen, when you watch tonight's lesson plan, you really want to laugh. But it's just a bit too dark. And you want to bring out the drama, but it just starts to border with too much humor. Where exactly is this movie going? Cinematic class is about to begin. Your professor is in. Greetings, salutations, another sundry affair. I am your cinematic professor and purveyor of truth. In movies. And if I told you that tonight's lesson plan starred Eastwood and Gibson, you'd think, uh-oh, this could be good. But it's not Mel Gibson and Clint Eastwood. It's their kids. <laughs> okay? Tonight's lesson plan is a movie called Clawfoot. Ooh, when I first read it, I thought, must be a horror movie. No, it's Clawfoot. It's a type of bathtub. <laughs> That's where we're coming from. You see, Janet, who is a, a very wealthy housewife of somewhere or other, is conned into letting a contractor into her home only to discover that he is a money launderer for her husband and his rather nefarious deeds, and he plans to actually rob the house. However, Janet has a few secrets of her own. The story really kind of mocks these uh, really rich elite, well, what people call the awfuls, the affluent white uh, female liberals. And, and it really mocks them to, and lambastes white collar criminals along the way. This morning when I woke up, Evan was gone. There was no note. I called the office, called his phone. The handyman is what's strange. All of a sudden, Evan disappears and this guy just shows up. We're not doing any construction. Well, I have an order here that says bathroom renovation. That is your husband's signature at the bottom, right? Were you going through my stuff? Me? No, never. I'd like you to get out of my room. Right in the middle of a job? I don't think so. Get what? What did I do? Out of my house. You better get used to this face. And where do you think you're going? <laughs> Not the Cabernet, you peasant. Housewife! You are acting very strange. We're friends, right? <laughs> oh, Janet! <laughs> what I'm about to show you isn't pretty, but it was necessary. <laughs> Let's get a drink. Have you ever done this before? No, but it can't be that difficult if so many men allegedly do it. Anything they can do, we can, can do, do better. better. Shall we? All righty, I told you about Eastwood and Gibson. Let me fill in those blanks for you. Francesca Eastwood plays Janet. Uh, she's really made a name for herself in some other movies and even a TV uh, uh, streamer uh, series. Uh, she's She's a fine actress, and she likes, well, she's a young girl, so she likes playing these sultry roles, and she does it well in this movie. Milo Gibson is, is Mel's kid, and, um, you know, he doesn't do this poorly, but he never gets to break out of his shell. As I said in the teaser, this movie constantly struggles between being a, a, a crime thriller 
and and a comedy, and and because it never really defines itself, he doesn't know which way to act, and as a result, he's probably not giving up a hundred percent of what he could do. Olivia Colpo is Pasha. She is Janet's friend, lawyer, and uh, let's say co-conspirator, shall we? Olivier Cooper is Sam, and Nestor Carbonell is Evan. Evan is uh, Janet's husband, and Sam is actually the comic relief, I think. Uh, he's intended to be the comic relief, but uh, boy, the way he's treated and the way this movie struggles with comedy uh, ends up being a little bit pathetic. I tell you, someone who is never pathetic, that's Rex Real. So why don't we peel back those veils of time, back to the early Cretaceous period, for the nation's first and only prehistoric film critic, Rex Real. This movie searches for an identity, but never finds it. Comedy is tough, but this is painful. A far cry from natural born killers, which it attempts to emulate. The movie plays like a joke that goes on for too long. Thank you, Rex, not mincing any words there. This movie really did have an identity crisis, never really knowing if it wanted to go full-out thriller or really boost up the count. It could have gone either way, and it would have been stronger. But in constantly warring with itself, wow, it just it just never reaches the peak anywhere. And as a result... We're going to give it a grade that's a little bit below average on this one. Hey, uh, a couple of reviews ago, I told you we had been approached by Truth Social to join and put our reviews on that site. Uh, we went ahead and did it, and I'm going to punch up a URL for you here. So if you are on Truth Set, uh, Social or would like to follow us, uh, Rex and I there, you can certainly do so. And we are also on X now, so those seem to be two pretty big social networks that uh, have an awful lot of uh, people following them. And uh, by all means, uh, Rex and I are there now, and you can find... And speaking of Rex, how would you like to take a shower with Rex? <laughs> I know where your mind was going, but don't let it go there. I'm talking about from the Rex Real Store, the Rex Regal official shower curtain and bath mat. Yes, every time you take a shower, you can think about Rex Real. Come on, that's got to be good, right? They're on sale now for a discount. Go on to the Rex Real store, check it out, and then every day you can take a shower with Rex Real. You know, the name of this movie was Clawfoot. Yeah, I made it through to the end, but it really was painful to watch this movie struggle to be something and turn out being nothing. And now that you have learned what you have learned, dear end, your lesson.